Hey guys, GamerDV100 here today. Now today, we're ranking the top four Mario characters and their enemies slash rivals. Whatever you want to call them, I don't really care, but let's get straight into it. Number four, Pauline and Donkey Kong. Now I know that Pauline is not our typical common Mario character. However, she has an enemy that she absolutely despises. And yes, that enemy is Donkey Kong. Pauline first appeared in 1981 in the game Donkey Kong. She was being held captured by Donkey Kong, and Mario had to save Pauline and go from floor to floor dodging barrels, hammering obstacles, and not die. But then somehow another freaking Donkey Kong game was made in 1994, and that giant ugly chest pounding freak kidnapped Pauline again. And in my opinion, Nintendo absolutely did not even have to bother making another Donkey Kong game. I mean, if you can't tell already, it's pretty much the same game, but better graphics. And now, the game you have all been waiting for. Yep, guys, it's Super Mario Odyssey. Now, I know in this game, Pauline doesn't get captured. Basically, you meet her in New Donk City and get musicians to participate in her concert, Jump Up Superstar. But when you get the concert ready, it starts, and you have to get to the concert by completing the 8-bit part of the course. And right at the end, you face off against Donkey Kong, again. Will this dumb gorilla even give up fighting? Nintendo even made an 8-bit version of the song. You gotta check it out. Number 3. Baby Luigi and Kamek, aka Magic Koopa. Baby Luigi himself has been caught by Kamek many times, typically in the games Yoshi's Island, New Yoshi's Island, and Yoshi's Island DS. Basically, Yoshi and Baby Mario have to save Baby Luigi in all three of those games. Plus, when Luigi was a baby, he was just like Mario. He was always ready for a challenge. But Baby Mario, believe me, you don't want to know about his childhood. Anyway, when Baby Luigi gets captured by Kamek, Kamek cursed him with horrible magic, making Luigi the filthy coward he is today. Number 2. Luigi and King Boo. You guys know the story, starting in 2001. Luigi has won a mansion and got invited to see it, but it turns out that it was all a ruse put in motion by King Boo. He has captured Mario in a painting and Luigi has to overcome his fear of ghosts and rescue Mario, but the process of getting him out wasn't so great. A few years later, Luigi got a house of his own, and Professor Egad had a lab full of helper ghosts. But when King Boo shatters the Dark Moon, the pieces fly into several mansions. The ghosts get out of control and turn evil. Luigi has to recover the Dark Moon and defeat King Boo. And now, probably one of the most best-selling games of 2019, Luigi's Mansion 3. Luigi and his friends get invited to the last resort. But soon, Luigi finds out that it was all a trap put in motion by King Boo's number one fan, Helen Gravely, to impress King Boo. All of Luigi's friends have been captured in frames, including Egad. Luigi has to save his friends and escape the hotel ASAP. And number one, Mario and Bowser. Almost in every Mario game, except the Mario Party games and Mario Kart games, Bowser kidnaps Peach, and Mario will have to save her, starting from 1985 to 2017. Super Mario Bros. to Super Mario Odyssey. It's been a great series. 
I wonder what will be the next Mario Adventure game. But until then, thank you guys so much for watching, and come back next time for more Nintendo-related content. <laughs>